Sleki, tunaona ona mapicha lakini God bado ni mso God bado ana praiseiwa na njaro zake bado ni the same kwa hivyo tunakuelekwa kwa hii service utablesiwa na naamini by the end of it God atakuwa glorified kwa hivyo kama una ni watch najua kuna wasoal kwa napenda makatun unapenya mahepi sasa zingine unaenda kutembelea neiba Sai ni saya God. Wacha tumpate time atuspikie na itakuwa ni poa, si ndio? Kwa hivyo tulia usiwe ni msa wa kusumbua mom, dad, tunataka nini nini. We tulia kwa hiyo kiti. Kaa tu hapo na God akuspikie. So wacha tu pray. God tunakuthank na tunakugive glory. Kwa sababu hii service God to take through. Tunakuhona na tunaku invite hata preacher tunam dedicate kwa hand zako that god you may use him thank you we welcome you in jesus name amen na kabla kuendelea na hii service wacha ni invite kim akatpatia announcement kidogo tu vile unaweza enda kuendelea na hii life uko home na itakuwa ni poa karibu karibu kim karibu kim karibu kim wase wase praise jesus I hope mko poa hapo mtaani eh, na hope mnaendelea fiti I hope mnavaa mask zenu eh, mna sanitize mikono mna keep safe mna keep social distance na pia god bado ana rain so sisi kama mavijana wa pefa gikomba tunawakaribisha kwa online platforms zetu mnaweza tu follow hapo facebook uh, pefa gikomba youth ministry hapo kuna vitu za power sana zinaendelea hapo pia tuko na youtube channel usikuwe tu wewe ule mse wa matelenovela hapo ukienda youtube unatafuta tu vitu zingine hapo youtube pia tuko na page yetu pefa on nations gospel church gikomba hapo utapata sermons zetu na vitu zote zenye tunafanya during it time ya quarantine unajua quarantine manezo non site usilale peke yake tunaamka tunafanya vitu zetu pia hapo mtaani lakini wacha tu to keep god pia hapo mbele yetu yeye atatu guide through hii situation yote Alafu pia tuko na WhatsApp group yetu e, unaweza pata link ujoin hapo hiyo WhatsApp group tunakuwa na devotions hapo kila jioni uh, tuna share word tuna pray pamoja unajua hata kama ni quarantine bado sisi ni mavijana lazima tu zoom tuko na pia tuna zoom tunafanya ma video call pamoja tuna tunajuliana tu hali vile mambo inaendelea hapo mtaani So keep in touch usibaki tu nyuma unabaki hapo usomagi wa dama nini uku encourage tunakuwa una feel tu uko chini mambo tu unashanga mbona ni mimi peke yangu niko quarantine lakini hapo mtaani unaingia tu hapo whatsapp una tufo, una una, 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 una join group yetu ya whatsapp eh? ukisha join group ya whatsapp utapata ma devotions hapo ma sermon na ma prayers kama uko na issues zozote unaweza share na sisi na pamoja tuna blessika God our bless So to e time tunaweza karibisha speaker wetu chairman wetu akuje ashe word na sisi Ukona kile ninadai ulinipenda hata kama misifai El Shaddai El Shaddai El Shaddai Ukona kile ninadai ulinipenda hata kama misifai El Shaddai El Shaddai El Shaddai is an awesome God, a man who was such an awesome song. And I'm never lonely, a man who was such an awesome love. He's an awesome God, and I wanna tell it to the world. He was true anywhere, where. Come and see where we're passing, honey. And the Lord, he's a good one, he's a good one, he's a good one. Was 
hewa se maboy na madem i hope mko fiti hata mimi niko fiti god ni msoma nzee mpaka saa hii amekuwa ibeneza amekuwa pamoja na sisi na hata ukiwa hapo home uh, you can join us for our online service ndio tusikie nini ni god anataka kutuambia sisi kama mavijana sisi kama matini there is so much that god wants to speak to us during this time amen najua saa hii tuko home na tumefungiwa we are confined in our homes na wengi wetu saa hii tumeboeka manze hatuwezi enda nje kujibamba na mabeshte zetu saa hii tumefungiwa ile kitu tu unaweza fanya saa hii ni kuchukua tu phone yako una chat tu una chat na mabeshte eh literally you have been forced to hang out with your phone yani kenye unaweza tu hang out nayo ni simu yako tu peke yako you know uh, these are time when your mind can easily wander from the things of god to the things that are ungodly yani sa hii ndio mind yako inaweza toka kwa vitu za god kwa sababu maanze uko na gadget uko na simu unaweza browse unaweza ingia you know kwa any site you can easily wander from the things of god because we all know that an idle mind is the devil's workshop unajua an idle mind is the devil's workshop kwa hivyo nataka kutushow leo ya kwamba we can hold on god nataka kuzungumza kwa topic ambayo ninaita focusing on what pleases god yani tuna check ni nini na bamba god hata tukiwa home hata tukiwa tumekaa mtaani what pleases god ni nini na bamba god and uh, our text comes from the book of philippians chapter 4 verse 8 na bible inasema finally brothers whatever is true whatever is noble whatever is right whatever is pure whatever is lovely whatever is admirable if anything is excellent or praiseworthy think about such things amen i'm here to remind you that it is at this time that you should think about the things that please god wakati kama huu unaweza fikiria zile vitu zenye zinaweza bamba god wacha tuanze na maombi tukiendelea baba katika jina la yesu tunakushukuru we thank you for this time and god tukiwa hapa home tunaomba ya kwamba utakuwa pamoja na sisi mfalme god even as, as i speak to this uh, young person i pray that king of all the glory you will give me utterance o king of all the glory that i may be able to speak your word o king of all the glory that will penetrate deep in their hearts o god I thank you and I bless you in the mighty name of Jesus I pray believing and trusting amen Biblia inasema in the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 9 that you should make it a habit to please God you should make it a habit to please God at all times ukiwa hapo home you can make it a habit to please God you can make it your goal to please god now mali tumesoma kwa bible paul alikuwa anazungumza na wase wa philippi church ya philippi na ndio alikuwa anawahimiza and he was telling them that they should focus on the things that please god they should focus on the things that please god so hata ukiwa hapo home there are eight things ambazo paul anabonga na church ya philippi anabonga eight words na hizi eight words alizizungumza so that he can encourage them to please god and so kwa hii session nataka kubonga about vitu nne vitu nne alafu baadaye tutaendelea na hizo vitu zingine nne anabonga kuhusu nini words kama true kuna word kama noble kuna word kama right kuna word kama pure kuna word kama lovely kuna word kama admirable kuna word kama excellence na kuna word kama praiseworthy so nataka tuanze na hii word ya kwanza ambayo anawahimiza nayo to please god with the first word is true true and i i'd like to urge us that we should focus on whatever is true as opposed to what is false we focus tu na zile vitu za ukweli focus on what is true as opposed to what is false you should focus on what is truth as opposed to what is the devil's lies we know that in the book of john chapter 8 verse 
The Bible says that there is no truth in the devil. There is no truth in him. In fact, the Bible says that he is the father of all lies. He is a liar and the father of all lies. So at home, where kijana, where tini, uneza focus on the things, uneza think on the things, ambazo zina please God. You can focus on the truth. Because we all know that the word of God is true. And there is no stay Staying in it. So focus on the word of God. Kitu ya kwanza. Focus on God's word. Because it is true. There is no staying on it. Joshua chapter 1 verse 8. The Bible says, Do not let this book of the Lord depart from, the, from your mouth. Meditate on it day and night. So that you may, be able, you may be careful to do everything written on it. Kwa hivyo ukiwa hapo home. Ukiwa hapo home, uneza focus kwa wadia God. Because we are wadia God, ndiyo true. Amen? Uneza study wadia God. Soma wadia God. Ukia mkasubui, soma wadia God. Wacha tu kuingia tu kwa social media. Eh? Najua tuko na ma gadgets hapo home. Wengine wetu tuko na ma wifi. You know? But usifocus sana kwa hizo vitu. Also you can set your mind and think about the word of God. Study the word of God. Study the word of God. Kitu chapili. Meditate on the word of God. The Bible says meditate on it day and night. Meditate on it day and night. Kila kitu unafanya, fikiria tu yo wadia God. Ukienda tu kufanya kakitu, think of the word of God. If you are, you know, if you are tempted to do something, think about what the word of God says. So meditate on the word of God day and night. Na day and night ina maanisha kila wakati. Kila wakati. Meditate on the word of God. Na ya mwisho, um, God anambia Joshua, obey the word of God. Obey the word of God. So ukiwa hapo home, obey the word of God. Fanya kenye wadi na sema manzi. Usifanya kenye mabeshte wanda kukuambia. Usiseme kenye devo wanda kukuambia. Usiseme kenye, kenye, you know, the world is telling you. Unajua sometimes tunataka kufit. Tunataka kufit kwa, kwa mambo ya world. Tunataka kufit kwa, kwa trends zenye ziko. But I urge you, I urge you, my brothers, my sisters, I urge you, wase, I urge you that you should obey the word of God. Ile neno ya pili, ama wadi ya pili ambayo pola na bonga kwa chachi ya Filipi, ni wad ambayo inasema noble. Noble. Na nataka kukuwasho waje, focus on thoughts that are serious and dignified. Focus on thoughts that are serious and dignified. So what are dignified uh, thoughts? They are thoughts, thoughts that bring honor and respect. So focus on the thoughts. Then you see letter honor and respect. Manze, focus on those thoughts. Focus to be a person of high moral standard, to be a principled person. Amen? Ukwe mse, you know, akona high moral standing in the society. Wase wakikuangalia, waneza kakuemulate. Because wana kuona, wana, wana, wana ona ni kama Christ akondani yako. Manze, you can be that person who can make that different, difference. You can be that person who can be different from the other young people. Be noble. You know, think those that bring honor and respect. If you look at the life of Joseph, he was a principled person. He always thought of things that bring honor and respect to God. So things about, think about those things. You see Joseph, alipitia mambo mengi sana manze. Alikuwa tempted. You know, devola lim tempt, akam tempt, akam tempt. Anamlete ya kamresh apo. Anaona kamresh kana kam manze. Anakacheki. But Joseph was a principled man. Yeye ali hepa. Eh? Sijuni wangapi tunaeza hepa. You know. Vitu tu zimekamu tu, tunaziona, ndiyo hizi, eh, tunazicheki. But we should be like Joseph. Let us uphold high moral standards. If you look at people, uh, at Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, they stood by their convictions. Can you stand by your conviction? Eh, your principle manze, stand by it. You know, stand by the word of God. Stand by the word of God. Stand by that which is true. Wakati kama huu ambao, you know, vitu mingi zineza kuja kutuvuruga mind. Eh? Focus 
on the word of God. Focus on the word of God. You should stand out like these three boys. Wadi atatu, ambayo Paul anatumia, akibonga na icha ya Philippi. Wadi atatu yenye anasema ni right, ama just. Right, ama just. Na ata kutusho aje, tuangalie zile vitu, ambazo they are righteous, as opposed to that which is unrighteous. Angalia ile kitu, you know, iko right na God, as opposed to that which is not right with God. Focus on being right with God. Ask yourself, if whatever you want to do is approved by God. Manze, unataka kufanya vitu mob. Unataka kubrowse hii site na hii site na hii site. Lakini lazima ujiulize, ni right na God. Is it right with God? So focus on being right with God. Kitu ya tatu, conform to God's will and standard. Conform to God's will and standard. Kuwa tu katika will ya God. Be, ma- be submissive to the will of God. Kila kitu unafanya, ukuetu ndani ya God. Ukuetu ndani ya will ya God. Ikuetu ni ile kitu God anaeza taka ufanye. Wewe kama kijana, you know, fanya tu ile kitu God anaeza taka ufanye. You know, not other people, not the world. Kenya God anasema is right for you. Focus on that thing. Think about it. Christ himself always wanted to be in the will of God. And if you look at the book of Luke, chapter 22, verse uh, 42, anabonga, hapa alikuwa anabonga na, na God, alikuwa naomba. Na aliku, just before his crucifixion, you know, at the Garden of Gethsemane. So anambia God aji, Father, if you are willing, take, take this cup away from me. If you are willing, take this cup away from me. Yet not my will but your will be done. You know, Christ mwenyewe alijua uzito, you know, alijua maana ya kukua ndani ya wili ya God. And in the book of John chapter 6, verse 38, anambi aje, wase, anawasho, for I have come down from heaven, not to do my will, but to do the will of he who sent me. Jesus sought to do the will of God. Hata wewe ukiwa home, you can sort, you can seek to do the, th- the will of God. You can seek to be right with God. Think thoughts. Think things. Vitu zenye zina kufanya ukuena right standing na God. Think about those things. Na wadia ine, ambayo tunafocus nayo leo, ni word pure. Paul spoke to the church in Philippi about purity. And we should set... Uh, you should set yourself apart to God instead of God and godliness. Focus on being pure as opposed to be stained. As opposed to, to being dirty, as opposed to being immoral. The Bible says flee from sexual immorality and other things that make you impure. In the book of Colossians chapter 5, chapter 3 verse 5, the Bible says... Put to death, therefore, whatever belongs to your earthly nature, sexual immorality, impurity, lust, evil desires, and greed, which is idolatry. And in the book of Titus, chapter 1, verse 15, the Bible says, To the pure, all things are pure, but to those who are corrupted and do not believe, nothing is pure. In fact, their minds and their consciences are corrupted. Think purity. Ukiwa hapo home, najua uneza kuwa tempted manze, uneza kuwa tempted ku, ku visit some site. You know, at the click of a button, manze uneza jipata, umeingia kwa X videos. You know, at the click of a button, uneza jipata, unacheki wase hapo wamevua. Eh, awana kitu wakondezi. At the click of a button, uneza jipata, umefanya vitu zingine, ambazo hazi please God. But uphold purity. Uphold purity. Be a person who is of high moral standing. There's a song uh, that says, I choose to be holy, set apart for you. I choose to be holy, set apart for you, Lord. I choose to be holy. 
set apart for you, my Savior, ready to do your will. Purity. I pray that purity itakuwa our portion. During this time that we will uphold purity. Ni time yenye tuneza kuwa tempted sana. But let us focus to be pure. Let us focus our thoughts on that which is pure. Na God ata to bless sana. So I thank God for this day. I said that we will continue with the other uh, four things that Paul mentioned uh, in our next uh, service. So let us pray. God, tunakushukuru, tunalinua jina lako. Kwa sababu we ni God, na unarimeni kuwa God. Father, we pray that you may help us to uphold truthfulness, O oh God. Even at this time that we are locked in our homes, that we will focus on being honest, on being noble, O King of all the glory. That Jehovah, we will seek to be right with you in everything that we do, O Jehovah God. Righteousness may be our portion in the mighty name of Jesus. King of all the glory, more so that you may help us to be pure, O Jehovah Master. Because the Bible says that blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. God, may you help us, O King of all the glory, to uphold purity in the mighty name of Jesus. Si kama mavijanab, tunajua, tuneza kuwa tempted in one way or another. But we know that you being on our side, O King of all the glory, we will be able to overcome, O God. We thank you and we bless you. In the name of Jesus, we pray, believing and trusting. Amen. Praise the Lord. This is Pastor Kaleche. Welcome to our children's church online. Today we are going to talk about incredible gifts, the gifts that God has given us. How many of us love to be given gifts? I believe majority of us do. And in our lives, there are many blessings that God has given us. And I want us to look at some of the incredible blessings that God has given us. And I want us to read from the book of Ephesians, chapter 1. Verse 3, the Bible says, Praise be to the God and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in heavenly realms with every spiritual blessing in Christ. So the Bible tells us that those who are in Christ Jesus have been blessed, and they have been blessed with incredible gifts. I'm sure majority of us love gifts. Like I have a gift here that I will give to someone. And so, um, believers, those who are born again, boys and girls who have given their lives to Jesus, Jesus has blessed them with a package of blessing. And I want us to look at some of these blessings that God has blessed us with. The first one is in verse 4. Let's read verse 4. Verse 4 says, For he chose us in him before the creation of the world to be holy and blameless in his sight, in love. So, boys and girls who have accepted Jesus to be their Lord and Savior, the Bible says that, they are blessed because it is God who chose them. Way before the foundations of the earth were laid, way before the creation was done. You know, in the, the book of Genesis chapter 1, that's where we meet God and the creation story. So the Bible tells us before then, 
before the cre creation story, God had already chosen you and I to be his children. Uh, John chapter 1 verse 12, the Bible says that them that believed, he gave them the right to be the children of God. So, those of us who have uh, accept, accepted Jesus Christ, the Bible says that these are the people who are blessed. That's a blessing that God has given to us. It's a spiritual blessing. The second one that I want us to look at is in verse 5. The Bible says, He predestined us to be adopted as his sons through Jesus Christ in accordance with his pleasure and will. So the second blessing that we have is that we belong to the family of God. All of us belong to families and we love our families. Some of us love our families so, so much. But again, there are also those who don't love their families. For me, I love my family. I don't know about you. But the Bible says that it's a blessing to belong to the family of God. So that is a blessing, a spiritual blessing, an incredible blessing that God has given us. The fact that we belong to his family. The third blessing is in verse 7. Verse 7 says, In him we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins, in accordance with the riches of, his, of God's grace. The third incredible blessing that God has given us is forgiveness. All of us have at one point or another hurt God. Sin hurts God. Sin makes God to be angry. But the Bible says that it's a blessing to be forgiven by God. So if we confess our sins, the Bible says in 1 John chapter 1, verse 9, that God is faithful and is also just to forgive us and to cleanse us from all our unrighteousness. So it is an incredible blessing to be forgiven by God. Sometimes we struggle to forgive our friends when they do something wrong against us. But with God, when we go to him, confess to him the wrongs that we have done against him, he's faithful, he forgives us. And that is an incredible blessing. Another blessing that we have, an incredible blessing, is the blessing that God has revealed his story. He has revealed his promises. He has revealed his plan for our lives. And this plan, this, this uh, his story about God is told in the Bible. And so having a Bible is something which is a blessing. It is a gift to us. It is a gift to us that reveals the will of God for our lives. So boys and girls, having a Bible is a blessing from God. Because this Bible tells us what God is like. It tells us what God has done for us. The Bible tells us what God has in store for us. And so for us to be able to read the Bible and see what God has to say about our lives, it's an incredible blessing. And I want, to, I want us to read um, verse 9 to see how this is a blessing to us. Ephesians chapter 1 verse 9, and it says, And he made known to us the mystery of his will, according to his good pleasure, which he purposed in Christ. So the fact that God revealed his will, and it, is, it was written by men who were inspired by the Holy Spirit, by men who were led by the Holy Spirit. It means it's a great blessing to us. There are children in the world out there who do not have a Bible, who do not own a Bible. But for you who has a Bible, you're able to read the word of God. You're able to read the plan of God concerning your life. And that in itself, it's a blessing to us. Something else which is also a blessing to us is the gift of the Holy Spirit. Verse 13, the Bible says, in verse 13, the Bible says, and you also were included in Christ when you heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation. Having believed, you were marked in him with a seal, the promised Holy Spirit. So it is an incredible blessing to have the Holy Spirit. 
The Bible says in the book of John that the Holy Spirit is our comforter. Right when we need a friend to encourage us, to talk to us, to give us those words of comfort, of peace, the Bible tells us that the Holy Spirit is our comforter. The Holy Spirit is our teacher. He teaches us everything concerning the things of God. And so it is a blessing. It's an incredible blessing to have the gift of the Holy Spirit. The Bible says that we are sealed with the Holy Spirit in Christ Jesus. So, boys and girls, when someone gives you a gift, like I have a gift here, yeah? If I give you this gift and you don't open it, then there is no way you can enjoy the goodness which is sealed in this box. So, because God has given us these incredible gifts, it is for us to discover them. It's for us to realize how much God has given to us and how we can be able to use it. And so, this book, this passage that we have just read, that is uh, Ephesians chapter 1, it is filled with valuable, with incredible gifts. And we have a responsibility, as young as we are, to discover that which God has given to us. Having received such gifts, we must also be able to go out there and tell other people about the incredible gifts that God gives to all who are in Christ Jesus. So, who can qualify for these gifts? How do I receive these gifts? If I want these gifts, the first thing that I need to do is to ensure that I, my life is in God's hands. I ensure that my life is controlled by God. So the first thing that we need to do to ensure that we enjoy the incredible blessings that God has given us, we need to give our lives to Jesus. Because the Bible says that these blessings are for those who are in Christ Jesus. So the first thing is ensure that you are in Christ Jesus. And how do you ensure that you are in Christ Jesus? If you are not sure, you can say this prayer with me so that Jesus becomes your Lord and personal Savior. And in him, you will be able to enjoy all this blessing. That is the blessing of being in God's family, the blessing of being forgiven, the blessing of having the word of God, the, the will of God revealed to us, and also having the gift of the Holy Spirit as our teacher, as our counselor, as one who reveals the things of God to us. So they say these words, say, Lord Jesus, I am a sinner and I need you to be my Lord and Savior. I need you to save me so that I belong to Jesus Christ and so that I'm able to enjoy all the incredible gifts that you've given to me. If you have said that prayer, you are now in Christ Jesus. And so I want us to uh, end our, our, our service today. But before then, I want us to pray. Pray for families who are affected by the coronavirus. Pray for families that are going through hard times. And pray for our leaders that they will be able to make the right decision. Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray for all families of the world who are in one way or the other affected or infected by this coronavirus. We pray for your healing upon their lives. We ask you, Lord, to stretch forth your healing hand and heal them. Also, we pray for our leaders that God Almighty, you may guide them, you may lead them to be able to make these difficult decisions that need to be made. In Jesus' name we pray and we give thanks. For the lovely See. things he has given us.
for all that he has given us. Mm-hmm.